This is a Cybex Gazelle S, and today we are going to show you how to fold this model both with the shopping configuration as well as with the basic configuration where you just use the seat in the center. In order to achieve the self-standing fold as well as just to make folding better and easier in general, uh, you are going to want to lock those front wheels and you're going to want to lock them with the wheels facing forwards. So it's just a matter of pulling over that little lever on the side there. Uh, such that the wheels lock in place forwards, as well as to apply the brakes, which is just this pedal here on one side. So when you have the Gazelle set up in the shopping configuration, you are going to need to remove the shopping basket, otherwise it pokes out when the model is folded. And then when it comes to that lower seat, you're going to want to pull back your canopy. You're going to use that little lever on the back of the seat that adjusts the position in order to angle uh, the main body of the seat parallel with these arms. And you're going to want to lower your leg rest. You just press it on both buttons on the other side here. And just let it drop. And then if you like, you can remove the bumper bar. It will save you a little bit of space. If you can. And then folding involves three buttons. At the top, you have a safety trigger here on the side. You have a safety slider at the very top of the handle here. And you have a main button. This is the same button that adjusts the height of the handle. So what you're going to want to do is take your thumb and pull over on that safety slider and press in on that main button. And then you're going to have to force the handle down symmetrically on both sides with a little bit of power. And while doing that, you're going to have to lift up on that safety trigger. So lift up on the safety trigger and push it in. And the whole thing will fold down into this self-standing configuration. In order then to unfold it, there's a little catch here on the inside. You're just going to pull it inwards that pops off of this peg. And then you can just lift the handle back up and readjust everything as you like it. And at the end, just put your basket back in place. Showing those buttons involved in folding a little bit closer then, this was the main button for adjusting the height of the handle. This is the safety slider on the back. You need to pull over in order to get into that full folding setup. And uh, this is the safety trigger. So using all three in conjunction with a little bit of symmetrical force allows you then to activate the folding mechanism. If you're using the shopping configuration with the seat in the reverse position, you will need to remove the seat as well as the basket. So pull your basket off again. And then in order to remove the seat, there are these two white buttons right here at the top on either side. Uh, in the center, and you're just going to press them both in, and then you can lift off the seat unit. And then you can proceed to fold the chassis in the same manner that we did before. So pulling over that slider, pulling in on that main button, holding up that safety trigger, and pressing it in. If you have the model in its basic configuration, meaning only the seat in the central position, then uh, it's very easy to fold as a one-piece fold. I'm just going to pull back the canopy pull in on that adjustment trigger and allow the seat to just fall forwards and then use your three buttons on top as I already described and you get your one piece standing fold with a handy handle here as well. In order to fold it back up, you just want to pull it back into position like this and then pull back on the seat back and it should all just click right into place. With the seat in this basic configuration in the reverse facing, you're basically going to do the same thing. You're just going to pull up on that positional trigger on the back, pushing your canopy, allow it to fold backwards this time, and then use your three buttons in conjunction to fold it down. So in any case, this was our very basic folding guide to the Cybex Gazelle S, showing you just the, the general basic ways to fold it and the two most common configurations. There are, of course, quite a few configurations with this model involving two seats or car seats or bassinets, and all of them will have uh, little specific ways to make folding a little bit easier as well. We hope this video has been interesting to you, and if it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future.